Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to edit on the DJI Fly app built-in editor. If anybody is new to editing, this is a great way to start. Make sure that the drone and the controller are connected with the memory card installed. Go onto the Fly app, click on album, and you'll have two different sections then. One's clicking on album, and these will be aircraft and DJI Fly. The aircraft is everything that's stored within the memory card, and the DJI Fly is the cached memory, so any files that are on your phone or any smaller files which are also stored as cache on the DJI Fly app from all your recent flights, videos, photos that you've taken. Now the problem with the DJI Fly cache is this is much less quality. So if you use this to create, then your video is going to not be high quality. So by clicking on this image here, you'll see it says not downloaded. So this means that that file has not been downloaded from the memory card to my actual phone. So again, make sure that your drone and your controller and your phone is all connected, the memory card is installed, and then once it is, you'll then have the aircraft option here, and these are showing files, but it gives you now in the bottom left-hand corner the option to download. So click that, click on full download. We don't want trim download just yet. This will download that file. Depending on your speed, it can take quite a while to do this. So I'm just gonna speed this bit up and then we'll get on to the next part. So once that's downloaded, that will be then stored within your phone and also be accessible on the DJI app as a full res file. So it says now download successful, so we can go off that. If we then go back onto the DJI Fly, you can go back to that same file, that 38 second file, which is that top corner one. I click the heart just so I can remember which one I've downloaded. And you'll see now it doesn't say not downloaded and click on the information, that's a full 4K file. So that's downloaded now on my phone. You can also click this little Ziggy icon here and this is a batch download. So you can go through and select all the footage that you want to edit on just by clicking that check marker. And once you've clicked the files you want to select, you then just click the download button at the bottom and that will download all them files. Once you've selected the files you want to download, go back off that and then you can click the create button in the bottom right hand corner. You've got templates, which we'll go through in a different video, but today we're gonna to be concentrating on pro. So you need to select the files that you want to actually edit. So what you're gonna go through is find those files which you've downloaded and now click on them. Some of them may say they need to be transferred coded and you'll see the difference between this one now has has been downloaded and the purple one hasn't because it's now got still the download marker on so once you've selected all the files you wish to edit on click the add icon and this will now put them all on here so this is now your timeline which we're going to edit on which is the next part so now we've got all the files on the editor and this is what it will look like. It might look really confusing to start with, so I'm going to break it down. So you've got the main file there in the front of the screen. You've got the play icon on the left hand side and then on the right hand side, you've got different options, cut, the tone, the volume, speed. If you want to reverse that clip, copy clips, and then you've got some more advanced editing on the right hand side, which we'll go to shortly. So by moving this play icon at the bottom here, you can drag over the files and you can see which ones you've actually downloaded and you can manipulate those files. You can also drag with two fingers here in the corner and that will make that playhead smaller or larger just to give you a better idea of how many files you've got. By pressing that play icon on the left hand side it will then play that footage. But as you can see the full files they're not the most entertaining of files and from either your standpoint or a viewer's they're going to be quite boring so you need to edit them. So what you want to do is use their file. So I've got here, for instance, we're over these houses. So I want the actual footage to start round about where I'm flying over the houses, not beforehand. So it just looks like a better, more cinematic image. So we want to find where you want that starting point to be. So I'm just gonna use my finger and scrub over that image until I find the starting point, which I feel is the best. So I like that part here. So I'm gonna click cut in that top right hand corner. By clicking cut, it puts a cut in that large clip and it's now split it into two sections. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through some of these clips and look at in and out points, which is the starting point of the clip and also the end points of the clip and then cut out any actual parts which I don't want. So as I'm flying towards these boats here, you'll see at the actual boats area, I want it to end before I get there. So again, this part here, I just highlight over it, click cut and that is now split. So I can either delete that or I can just leave it in case I want to come back to it. That one clip is now split, so I can click delete and that will delete that whole 
part of the middle clip portion. So now you can see I'm flying over the houses. I've gone straight now and transformed to the boats. And then when I'm at the boats, it's then gonna cut again. And then it's really slow static shot. So that's not the best, is it? So it's actually not moving yet and now it's moving. So what I want to do is I want to cut it so it actually starts that clip once there's actually some motion. So I find the part where the drone is starting to move. So again, by scrubbing with your finger, find that point there. We just click cut and that first part, which we don't want, we just click delete and that's now gone. So when it actually goes onto the next clip, it will be motion. You don't want anything static unless it's a really decent shot. You want to have always have some kind of motion in that clip. So again, I'm now looking on to the next one and I'm just going to work my way through and find the best ways and cutting out stuff I don't like and keeping other bits that I do and just by trying to make this footage the best I can. If you want to download about five or six clips of your own and then edit along with me just by pausing and keep watching back this video, then you can actually learn something if you've never tried this editor before. So again, I'm just going through different clips and just scrubbing through and seeing if there's any part of the clips where I can actually get rid of any maybe unstable footage, if there's any really jerky joystick movements. You just want to try and cut out all that and just keep it so it's actually flowing really nicely. The point of having the gimbal is it keeps all the footage stable and smooth, but if you push the gimbal to the left or to the right hand side, and it'll just you'll see all that on the image, it doesn't look good. So if you're flying to a location, you could maybe cut that stuff out. And then like I'm over this bridge here, just in cutting out bits here. So I've got a wide shot and I've also got a zoomed shot using the two times zoom on the DJI Mini. So I'm just cutting the bits out. So it actually goes from wide and then it goes straight into that zoomed shot just by cutting out everything that was in between it so that was probably a 20 second image and it now looks like a five six second image just by cutting out all the stuff i don't want so it's just playing around with it to your own taste obviously use your own images so it's not going to be identical to this but this just gives you a flavor of what to do and you can just cut out parts like this bit here i want it to end that end shot is a bit too long and then you can just look back at what you've done and then just pressing that play button again in the left hand corner and already just by doing those cuts in the edit we've already got a better and more fluid video just by doing those simple cuts but now what we're going to do is move on to some more advanced techniques i'll show you in the next part so on the right hand side of the screen you can see here you've got some more things this is you can add music to your footage which we're going to get to you can also do different things like adding filters you can add text by adding subtitles or text and then you can also add some stickers by clicking on some DJI stickers that are already built in so different themes that you can do so you've got Christmas ones Easter ones some really bizarre ones we're not going to add any of those today we're just going to go back to that area now back to that playhead and but just by showing you some different things you can actually put different colors in so where are we up to with this now so you see here now we've got these boats that I was doing. So I've cut out a lot of the image that I didn't want. I'm just gonna cut that bit out again. So we're now approaching these boats here. So I'm flying over the houses, I'm going to the boats, and just when I get to that boat, I want them to actually go a bit faster to them. So by clicking on that speed icon, which is on that right hand side, I can actually speed that footage up either two times or four times. I can also slow it down if I wish. So now I've actually sped that footage up. So it actually looks like it's going a lot faster than it was towards those boats and then it establishes that slow shot so the slow shots either slowed or fast is actually really good so using this shot here as an example i can actually find the point i want it to slow this down so i can cut it here as it starts to spin put another cut in so this middle section here i want it to be slowed down so clicking on the speed again and I'm going to choose now to actually slow it down. So I'm going to scrub that down and slow it to my desired speed. And then you can actually click and the tick button here once you've selected that speed. Just by reviewing that, you get a live look of what it looks like as well. So I quite like that. It looks really slow. So I'm going to click that tick icon. So now when you play it back, it goes normal speed and then straight into slow. And then it will then build that up back to normal speed again. That looks really cool and it's such an easy way of doing it but you'll notice that that slow clip is really long so i want to cut out some of that now so i'll play again so it's normal slow 
normal. So it actually doesn't bore you or the viewer to death by having that slow-mo clip too slow. We're just gonna look at a basic color edit. By clicking on tone, you can change brightness, the contrast, saturation, the temperature, add a vignette and sharpen that image. So you don't wanna overdo it with any of these sliders. It is your personal preference. But by changing that slider, either increasing it or decreasing, you can see the effect it will have on that image. So if your footage is quite blown out, you can actually use the brightness slider and bring that brightness down and then just until you get to that image that you want if you want to add all that to all images you just click apply to all or if it's just that one clip you can just click on the tick icon i'm not going to use any of those now i'm just going to show you another one which you can do on the right hand side which is applying filters so these are all built into the app and you can go through and select the different filters so you've selected that if you click on the tick icon it will apply that to either all the images or just a singular image. So now it looks a lot more vibrant. But we wanna just add on one more thing. So where these boats are here, I want that clip to be reversed. I want it to look better by being reversed. So we're gonna zoom into it fast and this clip, I'm just gonna click on that reverse, it'll process that and it will just sort of reverse that image. So I'm gonna have that fast shot we did before where it zooms into it. And now it's gonna pan, but it's in a reverse image. It just looks a lot different, just something cool just by selecting that reverse icon on the right hand side. So the next part now, we're gonna add music. So this again is your own personal taste. And then these are all built into the app and you can look at them on the left hand side. You can play them and see which one you like. And if you want to use it, you can click the download icon on the right hand side and just click use. Some of them are good, some of them are a bit cheesy, but use it based on the actual footage you're doing. So if you're flying around like I am today, around some boats that I want some massive heavy metal or dance music, really fast beats, you want something more smooth in cinematic so we're going to click on this one here and use this today so that music track has now been added and you can see on the playhead so click on this we've now got music built into our edit you can also add your own music as well or just use the dji fly ones again they're all to your taste but what we want to do now is we want to edit our footage to the beat of the music this is a bit more advanced but it just i think it just flows better so you want to go through it and find the points of where that beat changes by looking at the playhead you can get an idea because you can see that on the waveforms the higher waveforms is where you want that music to cut to so using that cut what we did before you just click on the cuts where there's a cut in the music maybe there's a change of tone or drums and then at that point you want to cut it so it actually cuts that image. So I'm just going to work through that edit. I'm going to cut the parts of where it's actually cut into the beat. You don't have to do this. It's personal taste. I just find it's more an advanced thing to do, but it does sound and looks a lot better. If you actually use a slow song with quite a bassy drum, it's actually a lot easier to do. So I'm just going to work through that now. So I've edited it all to the beat now, so that's it all done. If you didn't want to do that bit, then that's absolutely fine. I couldn't find a way of fading to black at the end of that clip. But never mind. So here you can actually select the aspect ratio and then click on that right hand corner. You can actually export that footage 1080p or 720. I couldn't find again a 4K or a 2.7K option. So I'll just click in the highest option I can, which is 1080p. Click continue and that will generate that video for you and it will save it direct onto your phone or tablet, whichever you're actually using the DJI Fly app on. And that's, that's it. That's easy as that. So it's a really straightforward way of actually creating a little edit. You can upload it to Facebook, Instagram, just click the bottom right hand corners here, you're gonna get the best quality image and that will save the video to your actual device. So click on that save video there. I can now go onto my camera roll and I will see the last image there and that's the video. So let's check it out.
so I thought that came out really well. I didn't like the abrupt end into it, so I've just loaded it into iMovie where you can add a transition just to fade to black at the end. But overall, I really enjoyed editing on that phone or on your iPad or a tablet. It was just so convenient and easy to use. Maybe if you're in the car, traveling back from somewhere and your passenger, you could edit and start to edit that footage. If you've not got a laptop or anything, then that's really good. For me personally, I find that it was quite a slow process. What I do is I've just got this dongle here and I can just attach this direct to my laptop or iPad and get the memory card direct out of the drone, plug it into this, put it onto the iPad or the laptop and drag them files over and it's such a quicker process than actually the way we've just done it. But if you don't have a laptop or a tablet then using this is really good. But if you're on an iOS device, I still prefer iMovie. This is free on any of the iOS devices, or you can actually use a paid app, which is LumaFusion. That's more an advanced editor, which again, I think is on both Android and iOS. If you're on Windows, you can use DaVinci Resolve, which is actually free, which is incredible. And it's got some brilliant features built into it. And the color grading is amazing. So Windows users, I would use DaVinci Resolve. Or for me, what I use is Final Cut Pro. I know it's expensive and you've got to pay for this as a upfront cost, but for me using it daily, it's what I find the quickest and the best way of actually editing videos. But the DJI Fly Editor, it does what it says and it's a convenient, easy way. So I hope you found that helpful and useful, guys. I know it was a long video, but if anyone is new to editing, it's a great way of starting out just by editing on your phone or tablet. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Stick around for some more videos coming soon. If you liked it, I'd really appreciate a like or a subscribe. It took a long time putting that together, but I hope it was worth it. Take care, guys. See you very soon. Bye-bye.